everyone. I just wanted to take a few minutes to walk you through how to submit a Google Doc into your British Literature Classroom. So, um, the first thing you'll need to do when you are get, getting an assignment in this class is go to content. Then, what you're going to do is before when you go to your assignment so let's for example let's look at week three here and in the classroom content you will always find your assignment in the link above the drop box i make sure that the assignments in this classroom are specifically tailored to what students need in the class so um, this assignment is going to be specifically for you so that's why the link is above the drop box Okay, so when you click the link, you're going to see a Google Doc pop up or a, Power, uh, a Google Slide assignment, depending on what the assignment is. So the first thing you're going to need to do, and this is for a Google Doc or a Google Slide, but what you'll need to do is you're going to need to hit File, and you have two options here. If you want to work in Microsoft PowerPoint or in Microsoft Word or PowerPoint, you just need to go to download and then you would save it as a PowerPoint. And if we're working in my if we're working in a Google Doc, um, you would save it as a Microsoft Word document. OK, so you would save it as a Microsoft PowerPoint, for example, here. And then it's saved and then you can do your work as you typically do in the classroom. But I encourage you to give Google Docs a try. So you need to have a Google, before you can even save this, you've got to make sure that you are signed into your Gmail account. Once, you, make, once you're signed into your Gmail account, which if you are working in Chrome, it stays logged in all the time, um, then you don't really have to think about it. So if you do that, then you're just going to hit File, uh, make a copy of the entire doc, then you'll hit OK. So once you hit that copy, then you're going to be able to write on the document. I can't let you just give you privileges to write on these docs and these, uh, and these PowerPoint slides because then everyone will see your, your answers because this is the, the one in the classroom is the master, um, the master copy. So that's why you have to make a copy for yourself. Once you make a copy of either the slide or the doc, um, you'll go through, you'll put your answers in, um, you can write on it. What you're going to do, and this is the same process for either a Google Doc or Google Slide, up in the right hand corner, you're going to see a button that says share. You're going to get the shareable link. Now here's the deal. Google changed, if you've been working with Google Docs for a while, you're probably comfortable with this, but Google changed their formatting in the spring. So now you need to hit this button, change to anyone with link. Because if you don't click that, when you submit your Google Doc to me in the, in the Dropbox, I'm not going to be able to read it and then therefore you can't get your points. Okay, so you need to make sure it says anyone with the link can see that your link. Then you're going to hit copy link. Once you do that, if you want to submit your Google Docs instead of um, a Microsoft uh, Microsoft uh, products, you're going to go to the Dropbox. Once you're in the Dropbox, you just have to upload some sort of dummy file here. So I'll just add some, some sort of file here. And then in the comments section, you're going to put your Google Doc. Okay? And then you'll hit submit. You'll get an email from K-12 that you're, you're, uh, every time you get something submitted to the classroom to know that it went through correctly. 
Um, so, and you can always double check your Dropbox, but um, I highly encourage you to work in Google Docs. Um, one, you can never lose anything. Um, so then when you're working in your Google Docs and like say your computer crashes, when your computer crashes, you lose all of your stuff in Microsoft Word. But if you're working in Google, then you haven't lost anything and you don't have to restart that. Um, another nice thing is if you are somebody who works on different computers, then you can always log into your Google Drive and access your work from computer to computer. So that way it's a little more fluid depending on the device that you're working on. And since we work in a flexible environment, that is something that would be very helpful to you. So I hope that um, this helps. And if you have any questions about how to submit a Google Drive or Google Doc assignment into the classroom, do not hesitate to reach out. I am more than happy to help. Thanks.